Because that, that is a really far fall down. It's, it's, in a way, it's like a giant tree house. Every single pipe is accessible with these ladders and walkways. It's pretty amazing. amazing. Yeah. All right. I am so excited to be filming this video today in that we're kind of known on this channel for showcasing really large instruments. And this is by far the largest. <laughs> <laughs> like I think even just this control panel would probably, I mean, one of those pipes would be the biggest instrument that's ever been on the channel. We are here at the Fourth Presbyterian Church right here in downtown Chicago with John Shear talking about pipe organ. You were talking about these pipes. Each one of yeah. those pipes weighs a thousand pounds. <laughs> and how many pipes does, does this? Organ has over eight thousand pipes in it. Oh my god! Each one of those weighs a thousand pounds, and and they're up to thirty-two feet tall. And what notes? Like what notes do those play? It's so the, the really low notes. Yeah. The the bigger the pipes, the lower the note. And some of the pipes are like as small as my little finger, and so those play the really high notes. And where where are those? They're scattered all over the place. So, oh, so this isn't just like the instrument is just back here. So you got pipes here in the front, you got pipes in the back, and you got pipes over on the side. There's a blower in all three locations. Blower for the main organ here is in the basement, mm -hmm. and it goes all the way up to the ceiling. So the organ is really like surround sound around the, the whole room. Wow. Basement to ceiling, front to back, side to side. So this instrument is literally the size of a building. It is. Can we see the... Yeah, I'm happy to take up in the pipe chamber. We can see the inside of the organ where all the pipes are located. Okay. Now, this is the largest pipe organ in Chicago mm -hmm. uh, with over 8,000 pipes, 142 ranks. And a rank is like one set of pipes for all the, the notes on the keyboard. So you got the five keyboards yeah. and a pedal board for the feet. So the, the five keyboards control different sections of the organ. So you got the choir division, the great division, the swell division, the orchestral division, and the antiphonal division. And then there's a couple sections of the organ that you can f flow to any of these keyboards, like the fanfare and the positif divisions. You said this is the largest pipe organ in Chicago. Yeah, yeah. So that also means this is the largest instrument in Chicago. Yeah, it is. So maybe we'll start just with the absolute basics. What is a pipe organ? Pipe organ is a wind instrument because it, it relies on wind going through each pipe. Uh, people see the keyboards and they think it's a keyboard instrument, but it's really, really a wind instrument. There's so many, th th this kind of reminds me of like a, a guitar player's pedal board. Just like so many different switches. Right. This is like an analog. It's, it's almost like a, a cockpit of an airplane. Yeah. You sit down here and you're absolutely surrounded mm -hmm. by control devices. All, all of this just makes the organ function and it makes the sounds of the organ happen. And do you use all, all of, these? of this? All of this. You got 204 stops. This is where the phrase pulling out all the stops comes from. Oh, really? Yeah. So you got oh, 200... and what, what is a stop? So the stop controls the pipes. So when you pull out a stop and you press down on the key, the air goes right through the pipe and you get the sound. And if you turn that off then you don't get anything. Right. Now it's gone. And if you turn them all on you get the whole thing. So if, whoa, <laughs> that's amazing. Where is that? Below each keyboard, you have these white buttons mm -hmm. and these are called pistons and they, they control the, the sounds of the organ. The organist presets uh, sounds into the pistons so that as you hold a chord and press the piston, you get a different sound. 
And, and this organ uh, has an unlimited capacity of, of pistons. There are over 10,000 memory levels in this organ. And when was this made? This organ was finished in 2016. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were going to say 150. Fourth Presbyterian has had, had a Ernest Skinner organ in 1914, mm -hmm. an Alien Skinner organ from 1971, and now the Quimby organ from 2016. Huh. I imagine they, they probably require a lot of maintenance. They do. Yeah. Ongoing maintenance. Yeah. It's a big machine. Mm -hmm. And the pipes too are all from that? A lot of the pipes are new. Uh, we recycled about 25% of the pipes from the Alien Skinner organ, mm -hmm. from the 1971 Alien Skinner. Because yeah, I, know, I know the building is... The building was finished in 1914. 1914. So when I pull out this stuff, it's controlling a pipe that's lower Oh my God. Yeah. So I don't even know if that's picking. There's no way you're going to hear that on a phone or like, a, <laughs> you got to get your subwoofers out for that one. Is that I, as low as it goes? That's, that's the one of the lowest notes on the whole organ. Wow. So I pull out that stop. I add another stop and I get an octave higher. I pull another stop. I get another octave. Another stop. Another octave. So I'm only playing one note, but I'm actually hearing four huh. notes because I have, I have four different stops activated. I always assumed when I heard a sound like that coming from a pipe organ that someone's going, you know, like this. Right. Well, that's part of the magic of a pipe organ is when you play a chord, you're not just getting those three notes, you're, you're getting three mm -hmm. times four. So it just keeps getting exponentially bigger. Yeah. And when you have all the stops. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's a lot of sound. Yeah. Wow. That that definitely rivals any like huge guitar cap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you open up the doors, everybody on Michigan Avenue would hear that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing that's really interesting about this building is that it's right across the street from John Hancock. Right, right. So there's these two monumental Chicago landmarks right next right. to each other, but very, right. very different. Yeah. Can we try that one again? I wish I could translate the video how wild that is. <laughs> that's about 115 decibels. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah. You're playing the entire building. Right, 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 right. It's wow. like having a whole orchestra right, yeah. right at your fingertips. So this is one of the most famous organ pieces that ever was written. Uh, it's by Johann Sebastian Bach. He was about 17, 18 years old when he wrote this. This is the, the Toccata in D minor. There's a lot of switches down here by your feet too. You also have four, four of these pedals. Like, you so you've switching? got the, yeah. the pistons underneath the keyboards for when you're, you've got a free finger. But as you're playing, if you, if you have a free foot, you can grab a toe stud with your foot. So you can change the sound as you're playing with your fingers or with your feet. That's the thing about playing the organ, you gotta be in really good physical condition because you, you're, you're always holding your, yourself up with your core, playing with your hands, moving your feet, you got hands, feet going all different directions. Yeah, could we hear just these pedals on their own? Yeah, so some pieces uh, call for just a pedal solo, just with the feet alone. This is a little piece by Dietrich Buxtehude that, that shows that. <laughs>
just like an uh, orchestra, you've got lots of families of sound here. An orchestra has this, the woodwinds, and so does an organ, a clarinet, French horn, You've got all the reeds of the orchestra, you've got the brass section of the orchestra, flutes of the organ. Lovely flute sounds, but then you've got the great string section of the organ. These strings are from 1914, the, the Skinner organ. rich sound of strings. And you're always changing throughout what part of the orchestra? All the time, yeah. You're always changing the sounds. You want the organ to be as expressive as possible. That's why it's great to uh, support a thousand people singing their hearts out, because the organ can, can support them and mm -hmm. make them sound better. What exactly do these buttons do? And, and these, oh, there's even more knobs than I thought. Right, right, right. There's knobs for the left foot, for and, the right foot. And you just have the muscle memory to Play yeah, all. yeah. You just learn where all these things are. Yeah. And then these these control shades inside the organ yeah, that allow that? it to get louder or softer. So when they're closed, soft, and I open it. Oh, so there's, oh, but there's four. There's four because there's four different sections, divisions of the organ that are under expression. Do you find yourself using those while you're playing? All the time. Uh, you're yeah. constantly There's so much going on yeah. when you're playing you, any song. You're there. you're you're always trying to bring out a certain note, a certain phrase by by moving these shades. So the pipes actually don't get louder or softer, but as the shades mm. close, <laughs> that is so cool. and even in that room too, it's entirely enclosed. It closes down the sound, so it makes it softer. Yeah. Well, another thing. I we did the lowest note. What is the high? What's the full range? So the lowest so note, yeah. right there. Really, really low you note. You ever just lay on that for a while? <laughs> the highest note, right there. You got your mosquito there. Yeah, yeah. The dog, the dogs will come running any yeah, minute. Yeah, you got your earthquake to mosquito and everything in between. You got just the, this big spectrum of sound. The unique sound of a pipe organ is what's called the, the principle, the, the diapason, the foundation sound of an organ. And this organ's got some really beautiful diapasons. That's just the eight foot diapasons from the organ. It's just a rich, rich foundation of tone that, that's just so, so beautiful. Yeah. So unique to a pipe organ. Can I, can I play it? Yeah, <laughs> sure. A little, little bit? Play it? Yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> it has a key. You start it up like a car. Right, right. So I'm gonna turn the organ back on. Now the organ blower starts to turn. It's pushing air through massive wind pipes up into the wind chest and the, the Winchester are opening up right now. The organ, yeah, comes yeah. alive. It takes about a minute for the wind to get into the organ so you can start using it. So even right now, yeah. there's no wind yeah. going into the organ. Ah, now we have wind. Anywhere you grab with any lid <laughs> other than behind you, you're doing something. Okay, I think I'm gonna start with... I can see why you like this. That, oh my God. <laughs> and then if you hit a piston. Yeah.
That is so cool. I'm not a very good. <laughs> okay. I'm not a very good player. Wow, that just sounds immense. Yeah. Could we pu pull out all the stops and I'll just all do the stops. All the stops, if we can. And I'm just gonna do a C chord. There it is. Yeah. Where Where do you suppose? Oh. This is the main. This is the this, great. This is the main. Yeah. Is this This is where you normally. This at, is called the great division because it's it is great. It it controls everything. Got this it. is when I want the whole orchestra playing. Right. With right. Me. Right. This is when I want to just use this section or that. Exactly. That yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're all the stops. <laughs> Just that one button is so great. <laughs> I'd love to be in, in a band and just be able to go on. play instruments with my feet other than <laughs> drums. Do you wear certain you shoes? Organist, so can... organists wear special shoes. Thin soles, lots of leather, so you can really feel nice pointed yeah, toes, I'm... so you hopefully hit one note yeah. at a time. <laughs> yeah, because that's not what I'm doing. Like, if you just stand up here, it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> you ever do that on accident? Like, All, every, every, okay. that's, hap that's happening <laughs> yeah, to everybody. I just spend so much time just here. Like this is this is just one instrument. Nice. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> I stay in C major and uh, I can <laughs> improvise. You know. Try that. Try it on this. No, no, on the great one, one hand, one hand oh, here, okay. one hand here. There you go. There's a little bit like playing this one in the different ones that you can tell there's a little bit of a delay on the attack. Most of the delay is just the wind going yeah. into the pipe. Oh yeah, what are these? You were talking about pipes. Yeah. I'm like, oh, here's a pipe. There's a pipe. <laughs> Parking. <laughs> right there. Yeah. Tuning these seems like that would be a really labor so you got intensive. The, this is this moves. Oh okay. And that's how you tune it. Pipes are made of lead and tin, and some pipes are made out of wood. But it's it's an ancient, ancient combination of lead and tin, and you mm -hmm. just want to get that perfect balance between the two. Actually, this is a sound. Uh, organs go back to the second century. BC. It was the Greeks that invented it. And this is basically the sound that they would have heard uh, on a second century organ. Is this the, this isn't the MIDI I'm familiar with. I'm seeing MIDI all over the place. I don't know what the MIDI is. <laughs> I don't use the MIDI. <laughs> do you do that while you, do you hold the chord and then go through the You can, sets? yeah. Let's try that again, that's so cool. Wow, awesome. Can we see the Yeah, I'm happy to take up in the pipe chamber. We can see the inside of the organ where all the pipes are located. Yeah. So you get this old skeleton key to get into the pipe chamber. There it is. Wow. So this is the fanfare division right here. And then we that's the choir division down there. There's a thousand or more pipes just in the fanfare division. Oh, don't trip here. Oh, these are the shapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? All of this when you move your feet move. All this whole wall it are movable shades like Venetian blinds. <laughs> Can I get that wide angle lens from Kyle? Okay, yeah, we needed to get the fisheye lens. 
it's it's such tight quarters. What are these wooden wooden pipes? So those uh, those are like flute stops for the organ. Oh, those are these imitate flutes. Yeah. So the pipes are made of lead and tin, and every pipe has a movable sleeve on it, which allows the organ tuner to adjust the pitch. That's how you tune the organ. It's really small. <laughs> I can't even imagine the task of like first getting this and tuning it. <laughs> I have an eight string and I kind of complain about it. <laughs> this is that times a thousand, literally. It takes days. Oh, this is one of the bellows. Yeah, this the windpipe for the air. Yeah, wow. How many of those are there? Oh, this many, <laughs> many. A lot. Interesting these... too that all these different shapes make those different sounds. Some of the pipes are capped like this. Some, Some of them wooden. just, they taper up to the top. Kyle! Yeah. Okay, can you uh, move them again? That is so cool. And even in that room too, it's entirely enclosed. Yeah. I mean, we're going to go <laughs> down and through. Uh, the organ blower fills these reservoirs up with air and then goes through these metal pipes up, up into the pipes themselves. So you pull out a stop, the air shoots through here and then up into the pipe. Whoa, that ladder goes all the way to the top of the building. Yeah, it's really tight court. Maybe I'll move, I'll move down here. These pipes are 32 feet tall, all the way floor to ceiling. There's so many different types of pipes. Yeah. Because these are a lot different than the other room. Do you want the camera, Jake, or? Yeah, I'm gonna come Sorry. through. Oh yeah, here, and hold this for a second. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. They, they look like they're part of uh, like the air conditioning rather than the air conditioning. <laughs> Nice. Those are so cool. Ooh, I didn't realize I'm standing on something. Yeah, careful. Man. I thought I was on the ground. I am not. No. Heading up there, John? Yeah. All right, I'll head up with you. I want to get a, a shot looking okay. down at just how high up I am right now. Jake, you down there? You gonna be all right without the light up there? That is a really far fall down. Could you shine some light on your face there, Jake? In a way, it's like a giant tree house, but every single pipe is accessible with mm -hmm. these ladders and walkways. And is this where you tune these pipes? And these are the yeah. these are the 32 foot ones? Yeah, these are some of the 32 foot pipes. You gotta climb up here to get to these. Yeah, you got it. And I'm gonna make sure I don't fall to my organy death here. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. People have been building pipe organs since the second century BC. And over time, they've learned how to make different sounds by shaping the, the pipes in different ways. Could you turn on the, the, the volume pedal? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then is that the facade over there? Yeah, we're right at the front here. Oh, so, so you're cool. looking right out of the sanctuary now. Do you uh, happen to remember what instrument Ooh, those are? I think that's the French horn. And all like just imagining like what you'd have to do to tune like that little pipe over. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll open up this door. And now we're in the swell division. What floor are we on? Or is it uh, you don't really have We're probably on about the fifth floor. <laughs> <laughs> and were we playing that guy earlier? We were. Yeah, what <laughs> do you happen to know what note is that? That I is mean, the probably. two and two thirds Nazard stop. I'm not sure which note that is. This is the Vox Humana, the human voice. Wow. This yeah. is actually an important part that these don't get yeah. too cold or too hot. Yeah, we, we try to keep the temperature 72. These few are really interesting. Wow, these are interesting too. I mean, they're all so different. They're all unique. It's funny how many, how many different sounds you can get from just putting air through a pipe. You got it. She said we're five stories up right now. Definitely by far the biggest instrument that's been on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> if I fell into a pipe organ and died, <laughs> that, that, would be, that would be quite a way to go. If I had to die falling down something, it'd be falling down in a gigantic instrument. It takes a while to get up there. It's not, that's not like, oh, we went, we opened another room. We've been climbing through pipe organ for a while. Jeez. Thanks for not playing any notes, Kyle. This is like an entire apartment building filled with pipes. 
So is there anything, I mean, there's nothing here. No, 70% of the organ in this main section here in mm -hmm. the corner, but then about 15% is up here in the north balcony. In the back, you've got the antiphonal division. It's right, just that little square. There, yeah. <laughs> you could play a whole piece of music just in the back. You could play a whole piece of music on the north balcony or in the main section. So it's really like having three pipe organs. Interesting. This is just its own pipe organ. This is actually, this is the oldest playing pipe organ in Chicago. Wow. It's from 1850. Somebody has to pump the air. <laughs> and there was no electricity in 1850. You got it. Okay. Sounds <laughs> oh, great too. 1850. I love the, <laughs> you have to pump it. Oh, it needs to be. Whoa! <laughs> that is so cool. No, no, just that's. Oh, you <laughs> just. <laughs> oh my! I love this thing so much. 1850. 1850. This is like walking back into 1914. Yeah. Not even a screen. So these are some of the trumpet pipes right up front. Now we're falling that way. <laughs> and these wood ones in the back are really interesting. Oh wow. I didn't realize those big ones were pipes. Big yeah. Wood. It's also really intimidating because to see those I need to like crank my head up a lot. But if I lean back. Yep. Oh, and there's some really tiny pipes back here. And I can just barely see the pipe organ at the end. Where you play it. What are these bells? Zimbelstern. That, they will turn and make a tinkling sound. There's a Zimbelstern in the, the front and one in the back. Whoa. So not to get out of the main blower. It's not even near. No, it's, but it's just directly below. Okay, hard hat area. <laughs> uh, watch your heads. Thank you. Whoa. Yeah. Humidity mist into the air, and, and then the organ blower sucks up that humidity and, and takes it up into the pipes. It looks like it's about to explode. Everything's shaking. Yeah. When I pull a stop on the organ, press down on a key. The wind goes from the blower through the pipe and then goes shooting up into the yeah. pipe. And it, it all happens in a, a split second. Yeah. Okay, well, I think that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. John, thank hey, you so thank much for being here. And I hope you all come back to Fort Presbyterian and hear this great organ. Yeah, yeah. Subscribe if you like to. Here's a playlist of other instruments we've explored. And thanks so much to the people on Patreon. See you next week. Yeah. Name me one other instrument you've been inside of. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried with some acoustic guitars and I always ruin them. You can't crawl yeah. in one. Yeah, I try my best. You can probably crawl inside a piano, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't, you know, recommend it. Nope.